Is now the time to buy or sell the September 2024 Los Angeles real estate market update. Curious if it's the right time to buy or sell in LA? With home prices shifting, inventory rising, and interest rates adjusting, the market is evolving fast. Let's break down the latest numbers so you can make the best informed decision for your next move. I'm Carrie White, real estate agent in beautiful Los Angeles, and every week I share inside tips on the market, information about what's happening and breaking down the latest trends. So if you haven't seen this before, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear more about you. So median home prices. As of September 2024, the median price for the single family home in Los Angeles is 901,342, which is reflecting a 5% increase compared to this time last year. And this price appreciation shows the resilience of the market despite rising interest rates and economic uncertainties. Earlier this year in January, we saw median home prices hovering around 880. So prices have gradually climbed throughout the year, as you can see. Not by much, but a little bit. For condos, the median price is 575,000, which is holding steady with minor year-over-year -year increases. Overall, both single-family homes and condos have experienced consistent appreciation this year in 2024 in Los Angeles. All right, let's talk about market timeframes. Homes are currently staying on the market for an average of 49 days, which is up from 28 days in June of 2024. That's quite a while for a home to be on the market compared to what felt like seven days in 2020. So this is showing that homes are taking longer to sell as we move towards the end of the year. That's common in quarter four. This also suggests a slight cooling from the summer market, giving buyers a bit more time, thank goodness, to explore options, but still reflecting a healthy pace of activity. Inventory levels. So the biggest shift we're seeing right now is inventory. As of September, we have the highest inventory levels all year, sitting at a three month supply. Back in June and July, we had 2.8 months of supply. And earlier this year in January, inventory was even tighter at 2.5 months. So the gradual increase in available homes is good news for buyers as more choices are becoming available. However, we're still well below the four to six months of inventory that would signify a balanced market. So this means that sellers continue to hold a favorable position, but the increasing supply is relieving some of that pressure for buyers out there. Interest rates have shifted significantly throughout the year. Today's average 6.25%, which is down from 74 last month, and that is such a promising drop for buyers. That's crazy, an entire point. So rates were hovering around 7% most of this year, so buyers are feeling a little bit of that relief. Experts are predicting that rates could dip into the 5% range by the end of 2024 and even in 2025, but we have yet to see that. For both buyers and sellers, this makes planning a bit more strategic. Buyers should take advantage of these dips while sellers may see more demand as these rates drop. So let's discuss the market comparison and overall appreciation. So overall, compared to last year, the Los Angeles market has shown consistent appreciation in home values. Single family homes have increased by 5%. And while condos have experienced smaller gains, they've remained stable. Earlier this year, price growth was slower due to the higher interest rates, but started to level out as rates started to ease. What does this mean for you? For buyers, the market offers more choices with rising inventory and slightly better interest rates than earlier in the year. And for sellers, prices remain strong, but it's essential to price competitively and prepare homes well to attract the best offers. If you're considering a move, now is the time to strategize for 2025. Feel free to reach out to us to discuss next steps. We're booking consults by phone or in person in our office on Montana Avenue in Santa Monica. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a comment or share with a friend. We will see you next week.